Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how to identify wild red and black raspberries as well as wild blackberries. They can all look very similar. Now they always have compound leaves with three to five leaflets. Here we can see the three and here's one with five. The leaf shape can vary just a little bit. They can be kind of round and ovate or they can be kind of square and kite shaped. The leaves of the red and black raspberry are almost identical. They're a nice dark green on the top and a really light white silvery color underneath. This is the black and this is the red. So they are very similar. It's really tricky to tell them apart. The best way to differentiate them is by the thorns. This is the black raspberry. You can see the thorns are spaced about a finger's width apart, and they're fairly large and hook-shaped. They're much more substantial than the red raspberries. If we go over to the red one here, you can see the thorns are very small, almost fuzzy. They can have a little bit of a pinkish raspberry color to them, but they're not very prickly. They're just kind of soft and fuzzy. Both the red and the black raspberry have round stems, which differentiates them from the blackberry, which has angular stems. Here's a really healthy patch of wild blackberries. You can see the stems are kind of yellowish, and they have flat sides. They're probably hexagonal or something, but they have really large thorns that are triangular or hook shaped. The leaves look a lot like raspberry. They can come in clusters of three leaflets like this or five. Blackberry also fruit on these kind of spires. Whereas raspberries have little tighter clusters. Their fruit are side by side. These are on little stems. So the fruit are really I think fairly easy to identify. They do look a bit like black raspberries. Raspberries will be hollow, but blackberries have that little stem in the middle. Raspberries are male in their first year. They're going to have green to bluish white stems because of that powder. But underneath there'll be a, a light green. Whereas the second year plants that produce the fruit are female and are more reddish purple. The leaves kind of remind me of strawberries. We can really see the serration here on this one. Each larger tooth has little smaller teeth in it. So that's what's called double serration. I actually have both red and black raspberry growing in this patch, but I do favor the black raspberry. So I'm going to select these and kind of over time weed out the red ones. They're just not as prolific, they don't produce as many fruit, and I think the fruit are much tastier on the black raspberries. This bush of blackberries is massive. Maybe eight or nine feet tall, or taller even. This is a monstrous plant. And you can see the monstrous stem. Look at the size of that. And it has those hard angles. The edges like that. Big, large thorns. Spires of fruit, rather than little clusters and the fruit always have a stem on the inside. So those are a few ways you can identify blackberries from wild raspberries. Look at all these fruit here, wow! That's a bounty! 
And this must be what they look like in autumn. I'm not sure why this one is early this year, but they turn a beautiful red. It's a really beautiful transition. This whole hillside is just covered in blackberries. And just across the path here, these ones are all raspberries. This is a red raspberry, so it has fuzzy like thorns, really thin. But I think I saw black raspberry just down here. Now these fruit will look a lot more like blackberries. You can tell the stems, they're not yellow though, they're purple. They're powdery. You can actually brush away that powdery stuff. And it has larger thorns than the red raspberry, but smaller than the blackberry. So that's a few ways you can identify blackberries, like this one down here, and black raspberries. So I hope you give this a grow in your garden. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.